Hey guys, this is Thomas and today's video is all about how to reset your lettuce grow farm stand. Now this is something that you're not going to have to do more than say every three, maybe four months or with a change of a season, but I will be showing you exactly how to do it as well as the lessons I learned having done it this first time and also the equipment that we use, some of the tips and tricks that helped us. So let's jump right into how to reset your lettuce grow farm stand. Now, one of the most important pieces of equipment that we bought was the dolly that you see we can move the lettuce go around on. It is super heavy when it is full of water. The idea of picking it up to dump any water out would be ridiculous. So having it on wheels to be able to move it around, definitely worth the price tag to buy that. Now you notice here, I moved it by the sink so that I could do this quickly. Again, you don't have to move it over by the sink, but it's just easier. And uh, I was taking all the plants out. Now, one thing I will say is that we went ahead and emptied out all of the plants and I took them all out of the cups. However, not all of the plants were ready to harvest. So some of them I ended up putting back into the lettuce grow. And if you notice, sometimes as I'm doing this, I'm damaging the roots. Now, if you're if this is a plant that you're harvesting and you're not gonna put back, then who cares? You're gonna harvest it, it doesn't matter. But if it's a plant you're gonna put back into the harvest or the lettuce grow afterwards, then just leave it in the cup and don't pull it off the, because if you pull off the cup, you're likely gonna damage the roots and it will affect it. Now you can see I had filled the sink with just some warm soapy water and as I'm taking off the lights specifically, now you're only gonna have the lights obviously if you have the indoor system. Those lights, you have to disconnect the cords each time as you're taking them off. Here's my wife showing up to eat some of the food <laughs> that we hadn't quite harvested yet. Now again, you notice that I'm simply using a, a sponge and warm soapy water. I would recommend probably getting a more abrasive sponge than the one that I have there. And then here we are, this is where we're gonna actually try to empty out the rest of this water from the base because again, it's too heavy to pick up to dump out when it's full of water. So um, this is what we have plugged in. We wanted to go ahead and keep this and turn the timer on. And so that's why we still had to have it plugged in. Once we turn that, that pump on, it'll start to pump the water out the top and out of the lettuce grow system. And then once it's empty, or at least mostly empty, uh, you'll see here that I'm able to dump the rest of it out. In the meantime, it does take a while for the water to drain out. So in the meantime, I'm washing all the little cups and all the other accessories and those sorts of pieces. As you could look inside, you can see all sort of the sediment and silt that's built up over time. Again, this is maybe three months. This took a while, but it emptied most of the water out. Finally, I could lift it up and it was light enough that I could get it. You could see all the grime sort of on the actual pump. And so just scrubbing that off, it all comes off pretty easy. Now you could dump the water that's remaining in the base outside. I just dumped it into the sink because I was here and it came out a little bit faster than I thought. There was a little bit more water in there than I had anticipated. Now, once it's uh, what the, all the water's out, then I kind of started scrubbing the inside. Now, one thing I will say, and I learned my lesson here is that yes, I and I think it's probably still worth trying to get some of that stuff off the top and otherwise, but what I learned is actually, it would save a lot of time and energy to instead of trying to scrub this while you're here at the sink, to just take it into the shower. Hour, which is what I decided to do once I thought about it. <laughs> Now it is helpful if you do have a handheld shower head like I have here, you can stick it inside. And again, I continue to use that sponge and scrub and that got it all nice and clean. Now here we are reassembling. Now there's already a whole nother video about reassembly. So if you want the specifics on that, watch my other video. But you can see here with the indoor system, there's a whole nother set of wires with the lights that have to be assembled each step. Now we ended up purchasing an additional layer. So here's our new light set and our new layer coming out of the box. Now it comes with an additional piece for the pipe because obviously you have to be able to get to the very top with the water to trickle all the way down. So make sure that you install the extra pieces, put the lid on and you're good to go. Sticking these wires back through the grommet there and plugging everything back into our GFCI outlet, our multi outlet there. I'll have that link down in the description as well as our cable box there to help keep everything tucked away because those timers are pretty big and kind of ugly if you will. So having them tucked away is really nice. So here it is completed. And again, here's the cable box with all the timers hidden away in the GFCI outlet. And here we are adding the nutrients. You have to add the part A and and the part B, four scoops of each when you do the reset, same as when you just purchased the product, and then you have to test the pH. Now, it's not uncommon to have to test the pH more than once. If the pH balance is not high enough, you add some pH down, and then if you test it and it's still not right, you might have to add more. So we had to do that a couple times. That is totally normal, but once you get it all set and done, put the grommet back on, and you are good to go. So that was how to reset your lettuce grow farm stand with the indoor version. So go ahead and uh, comment any questions that you have for future videos, and be sure and check the links in the description for any of the products that we used in this video. For more Let Us Grow content, go ahead and check out this playlist here or watch this video that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Either way, we'll see you in the next one.